What's your minimum specification? Here's Jim, a well-known name in the industry for semiconductor design, coming into AMD, you know, kind of laying down the hammer, saying, you know, let's rip everything up and start clean slate. What was your what was your impression of him at that point? On 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 my second shot at, at AMD, I, I rejoined the company having explicitly decided that I was gonna essentially apply whatever energy I've got to kind of fixing everything in my site and like stop at nothing and really i joined with that mindset uh and i didn't know jim at the time but pretty pretty quickly we pretty quickly we intersected and also pretty quickly it became clear to me that on on my own you know regardless of my you know enthusiasm and desire to to make a lot of impact it's it's going to be difficult to to sort of get around all the obstacles that you, you generally you know come upon when you want to affect a lot of change in a in an, in an organization that that size, right? And my my first impression was that, uh, you know, Jim, Jim, Jim was essentially uh, absolutely bulldozing through anything that you could characterize as uh, <laughs> as any kind of obstacle, whether it was you know like uh, organizational or technical, like literally every problem that would land in front of him, he would just sort of. You know, drive drive right over it, and like you know, with with what, what seemed like no uh, no no sort of slowdown whatsoever. So, give, given my disposition and and what he was all, all already doing, like I think that's that's ultimately what, at least a part of what led to us mm -hmm. getting into alignment so quickly and me getting into this group that Jim just mentioned. I think I was I I wasn't a, a senior fellow. I was actually a director. I think every, everybody at the time kept saying that, you know, like nobody understands why I'm a director and, you know, like, uh, why am I not a fellow or a senior fellow? And that was a common theme there. But I guess I, I fit in more with these technical folks. And uh, that said, that there, there's a lot of organizational, you know, challenges to getting anything serious done. So I thought that you're better positioned somewhere where you, you have a bit of reach into both. But for, for me, the biggest, I, I guess, the initial, initial impression was that Jim enabled everything that, that I wanted to do and basically recognized, he, and he did this for anybody, you know, that was in his orbit, right? He's, he, he's extremely good at picking, you know, pe people that can get stuff done versus people that can't, and then essentially giving them whatever backing they need to do that. And mm -hmm. that's really a large chunk of what led to success for us there. As we got to know each other, he started giving me all sorts of random advice, right? Like so, like this sort of stuff, like uh, <laughs> you know, uh, the the story with uh, with uh, that that I mentioned before with my memory is that we had a meeting in in Austin one time, and I was supposed to fly on Tuesday morning. I I went and checked, like went to check in early, and realized that I'd booked the ticket a week earlier, right? Like so, <laughs> I, ne I never went to the airport. I never like you know, I didn't have a hotel. I didn't have a flight. So I called up Jim and I'm like, look, man, I got to buy another ticket. And, you know, like I can't go through the corporate systems because I need to buy it like now. And the flight's at 6 a.m. the next morning. So he goes, yeah, you know, like you, you should really watch out for that. Like you're kind of too young for, <laughs> for this sort of behavior. Since then I've gotten all sorts of life advice for him, which, which I've also, you know, felt was extremely useful and impactful for me. Right. So like I've, I've actually changed major major things in the way I go go about doing stuff that's got nothing to do with computers and processors mm. based off of Jim's input. Yeah. So yeah, I guess he's been a huge influence. Started with work, went into other stuff.